I think one of the incidents is uh, when my father started uh, teaching me music and uh, I remember I was after my father after this was when I was uh, 16 years old and I told him uh, that you know I need to start doing riyaz with you because I need to know how do people do riyaz and he said tum chinta mat karo time aayega and finally when he when he let me enter his riyaz room and uh, he taught me how to do riyaz which is essentially a lot of people actually don't know that how do you practice how do you make it how how do you um hone your skills uh i think that's where i came very close to him and also came very close to understanding his his perspective and what he um understands uh, as music and he let me enter that world that's one incident let me put it this way uh he comes from bengal uh he comes from murshidabad uh but he ran away from home at the age of uh, probably 13 14 because he wanted to pursue music and my uh, grandfather my dada ji uh, wanted him to join the family business and after that my father did not have any connection with mushidabad or bengal or his ancestral home uh, there were only let- letters which were exchanged and uh, he did not go back he did not go back Uh, my dada ji used to sometimes come to us and i used to meet him it was in 2005 or 2006 when for the first time we all visited mushidabad and i met my father's family and that's when i realized where he came from and that's why that's when i realized a lot of things about my father and why he was the way he was and it was so it was it was really a beau it was beautiful it was enlightening and it made me feel closer to my father because i finally entered his environment i finally entered the world where he was born uh so that made me i think uh, closer to him as a friend i don't need to think about that that at all because my father is my hero and he proves that each time when he goes up on stage and sings oh man you should just see him the way he controls um uh, the stage and he's like he's like the king he's like the boss he's not like the boss he is the boss he he just looks at the table wala and he knows when to shut him up he looks at is there's this one look that he needs to give all his musicians and they know when they have to sort of start playing and he orchestrates the show so beautifully and in fact yesterday last night when i was having dinner with him i haven't been to one of my father's shows for a very long time and he said and since the pandemic has hit us he hasn't performed right because there are no live performances happening anywhere in the world right now um he said that there are times uh when he when he would go to bihar or up and he would perform in these festivals in these um, uh, melas you know and uh, he would be performing to 20000 people at this at the same time and there would be like 20 to 30000 people turning up showing up to listen to chandan das and that's when i realized man this guy is huge this guy who's my father who's telling me at this point of time and he is you know he he is not someone who will come and tell you about 
every time i mean the memories that i have of papa coming back from a show my mom would just ask him uh, how was the show and he would be like acha tha bahut acha tha khane mein kya chalo kuch khane ke liye de do and now when i'm growing up and when i am discovering the world and i'm meeting a lot of people who uh, have listened to his music i realize he's a legend so i don't need to go into one incident but there he is he's the king yeah <laughs> 